folks, thanks for coming out to Second City tonight and spending a little time with us. We are West in Show, and I take you, or we take you to, a dressed uh, mannequin window. I love you, Beverly. I love you too, Thomas. I love you even more. I love you even more. You're my soulmate. No, you're my soulmate. No, nothing is ever, ever going to come in between us. <laughs> I ever. know, right? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Who's that that just came in between us, Beverly? Um, this is Kristoff. Kristoff? Yeah, we've known each other for years. <laughs> He's really close to you. <laughs> I can't help that, Thomas. You know what? I don't like this. My brother, he warned me about my dad's. He said, you cheat on me. He said, be careful, brother. Watch out. Thomas, you're the one I love. Christoph and I just work together. Hey, Chelsea. Hello, Mary Beth. Look, I'm really, I'm, I'm feeling really prepared for our history test tomorrow. Well, it's good to know you are. I'm glad that a history can be so important to you. But I saw, I don't know, I saw your paper and I don't know if you're doing so well. I would be really happy to tutor you. Mary Beth, I don't need any tutoring. I am free in all the ways that you aren't. Well, I'm a member of... Saving our students' tutoring club. And it's part of our mission to help other students who might be having trouble. Hi, girls. Hey, Ron. I'm so worried about history. I'm doing terribly. I think I'm failing. I'd be happy to tutor you, Veronica. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm part well, of the tutoring really club. use the help. And if we go to Dairy Queen and you buy me a blizzard, that's all it costs. Really? Yeah. It's so cheap. You know, I could tutor you for five dollars, and I could teach you to be bad. Why does that sound so appealing? Oh, because being bad is the best. It sounds like it. Veronica, guys think girls who are smart are sexy. They do? <laughs> I've never heard that to be true. I haven't heard that either. How would I show my brain off? Well, well oh, you could come to my house on Saturday night, and we could study together, and then I'm... Uh, did I say Sunday night? I mean Saturday night. And then on Sunday morning we could go to church together. That doesn't sound like fun. On Saturday night we could party, and then on Sunday morning we could party more. That sounds like fun. Mm. On Saturday I just go and I, I get these sailors, right? And then they just spend the night in my room. And then Sunday we go down to Denny's and pick up some new guys. Hmm. Well, I've seen that on TV before. I, I'd like to invite you to my Bible study class. We have a leadership position open, a secretary, and that would look really good on your college transcript. That sounds boring. College is really like when you just spend a couple years after school figuring things out. You know what? You girls are getting me all off track. I really need to get ready for this history test. I don't know what I'm going to do. You know what? Um, I can help you study. Really? Yeah. That sounds great. Come on, Bye, girls. Uh, you want a ditch? Oh, and uh, hand out Bibles to sick kids. Okay. Thomas? I'm still not speaking to you, Beverly. Thomas, I'm pregnant. If I were still speaking to you, I'd say, so what? What are we going to do, Thomas? If I were still speaking to you, Beverly, I'd say that's, uh, that's your problem and your lover's. You impregnated me, Thomas. Don't you remember that night two months ago when we were left on top of each other naked all night long? If I were still talking to you, I'd say, well, how do you know it's not Kristoff's? Well, there is a chance it's Kristoff's baby. A chance? I knew it! I knew it. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I can't leave you, Beverly. <laughs>